Welcome, and thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. Guess, I am Mike, and this guess, is... Guess, just guess my name. Just guess my name. As the title may suggest, this is Billy. And today we're going to bring you a sample of a whiskey, but what this whiskey is, is this whiskey is the Glendronic Cast Strength Batch Number 6, 56.1% ABV. Now that I got all that correct, let me thank my fellow whiskey reviewer, Keith. You people might know him as the Molten Man Cave. Molten Man Cave. I want to hang out. For giving me a sample of this incredible whiskey. We right have, he came over to my house. We had a little powwow, a little hey, whiskey sharing. Do us a favor. Do us a favor. Go check out his channel. Check out his channel. If you like it, hit the like button. If you like it really a lot, hit the subscribe button. And if you like us, I mean, buy a shirt. We're going to make shirts really soon. Yeah, for the three people that said they wanted shirts. All three of you guys are getting shirts for free. Fortunately, one of my customers um, is a screen printer, shirt maker. Oh, hello. And I spilled some water on me. Oh, well. Um, but anyway, we can upload any photo. We're going to do our faces. Maybe not. Billy, no shirt. And we're no shirt, shirt at all. And we're sending it to the first three people that said they want one for free. Yeah. You got to pay shipping. Anyway, Billy. Color. Glen Dronic Cast Strength. I wish we had the bottle. I wish we had the bottle. I wish we had the bottle too. But you know what? Keith, has, Keith still has to review it. I saw him pour it out of the bottle. I know it's that whiskey. And I've already tried it. And I'm really happy to share it with you. So, natural color, oh. unchill filtered, Glendronic Distillery, no age statement. No oh. age statement on the batch. It, these capturing ones, there's no age statement. I heard the batch five was around 15 year old whiskeys from uh, another guy. Um, I'll plug someone else. Is that um, natural color? Natural color. Um, wow, that's dark. Yeah, Malton in Montreal in one of his videos, he said the batch five, which this is batch six, but the batch five was 15 years old. There's no real telling what this batch is as far as age, but I will say this. ABV kind of gets lost at a regular rate. This it doesn't. I don't. In my opinion, Mike, honestly, I don't think it matters. Sometimes it hurts when you take a drink, and it's, it's sometimes the the alcohol content is a little too intense, and you're like, oh fuck. But in my mind, I don't think that has anything to do with if the if it's a true whiskey, and they're making a really solid whiskey, it doesn't fucking matter. Like honestly, How old to, it me, is? to me, no, yeah. no, no. There, yeah. there's different casks. There, there's a lot of right. things going on. Right. I, I'm just saying, from a pure ABV perspective, since this is 56.1 percent ABV, that feels like the Lagavulin and 12 range. It's a lot. It's for me, it's a lot. I don't 56. I mean, come on, guys. It's a lot. Period. That's strong. That's strong. Well, let's see, we're picking up on it. I'm going to natural I'm, color. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not saying I'm not gonna drink it because I'm gonna drink it. Fuck yeah. Natural color, Billy. What would you say this color is? Caramel. Oh, I would give that an amber. Sort of. Yeah, yeah, Amber, I would yeah. say. Yeah, it's probably close. Yeah. Nice Dark. legs. The legs come down in even fashion. I'll be honest with you, the nose is uh, nose is kind of quiet. Really? It's a little quiet to me. This is our second whiskey. We did the Macallan 12 earlier. It feels strong to me. It's dense, but I don't pick up a lot of notes, is what I'm saying. You know, <clears throat> between the Glen Karen glass and this one, <clears throat> this has yeah. opened up a lot yeah. more. Yeah, you're right. Let's do this. Let me stick the nose right there. I just, I don't get a lot of notes on that. I, it, it seems really simple to me. And, like, this could be deceiving because we have different, obviously, palettes, but. Uh, you, I'm getting cherry. I get sawdust. I definitely get a cherryness, like, or some sort of a ripe fruit. I'm getting orange. A little bit of orange. Oh, abs cherry. absolutely orange. Absolutely. It didn't open up right away. Keith, we put this into this bottle, and I've, I've kept it not not a lot of oxygen, so it hasn't oxidized a lot. I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm look look. I'm not mad about this whiskey at all. I'm just saying I don't get a lot of notes on the nose. I'm getting cherry. I'm getting and, orange. and maybe maybe it's because we did the uh, Macallan Macallan twelve. You know, literally twelve seconds ago. Well, I mean, they're similar notes, but this to me is a typical Glendronic. Ooh. Cherry and orange, like you get with the eighteen-year-old. I mean, like literally, it's okay. it's very it's very soothing, kind of. Like this would be great aromatherapy. This does not smell like fifty-six point one percent ABV. I feel like I'm just getting one note out of it. What's that note? Beautiful, an angel from heaven. Let me tell you what I'm getting. I'm getting cherry. I'm getting orange. I'm getting. Chocolate, There's absolutely no smoke. 
this is not a, uh, you're going to go to the Isle of Whiskey and get. There's some spice that's, let me get a. You know what it is? It's almost a green tomato. I think it's sage. Oh, shit. It's soft, and it's kind of faint in the background because, I mean, again, at 56.1% ABV, rose and back your nose off the glass. I am America, and also South Africa. I am so curious to see what this is like on my tongue. Go ahead. I'm give, not even going to wait. I'm not even going to wait. Give you a drink. Save some for water. Maybe a bit of vanilla, but I think it's sage. I think it's sage, and it's cherries, and... Like orange rind. Mm. <coughs> mm. Not as not as potent on the nose as I assumed it would be. It is on the palate. What do you get on the palate? Wow. Wow, that's different. Tobacco. Mm. Tobacco. Mm. Um my tongue is on fire right now. Um it's 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 more oily than I thought. Um, when you when you breathe in, you feel it like you like that is a whiskey that just sticks with you. How much is this? I don't know what this costs. He's. I'm sorry. I was asking him a question when he's drinking. Um, wow! That's, that's, wow! Let's punch. Right. <sighs> Completely different than the nose I got. How are you feeling about this? Tingly. Oh, yeah. Still up. Like, how long has it been? Oh, my God. I love it. I love that. And the alcohol is just driving the flavors. Okay, so. Mouth. For, but it's not dry. It's not dry. No. For me. It's juicy. Yeah. Yeah. Juicy lemon and chocolate. Oh. And cherry. I'm getting like a weird, nutty, pumpkin-y, bready. There's some nuttiness to it, too. I don't, I don't, I, I. Oh, fuck. You guys know I suck at doing that. It's just delicious. I, I love this whiskey. I love it's it. like a wow. chocolate-covered lemon and orange almost. Right? That's what I think. And with a cherry. Cho not chocolate-covered cherry. Just a regular cherry on the side, but a chocolate-covered I'm getting orange and lemon. Lemon, the rind of the lemon. I'm getting, a, I'm getting like a weird uh, pear. I'm getting like a weird nectarine pear -y thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Definitely prune. Yeah. Maybe prune again? I said that before on the Macallan 12, but yeah. Yeah. I clean my palate pretty well. You know, be, uh, wow. 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 Yeah. What? <laughs> right. That's an aggressive uh, whiskey. Wow, that's a nice. The nose sucked for me. For me, the nose sucked. It was subdued. But when I taste, uh, do we it, know what this costs right now? Uh, it's on a crazy expensive bottle. And I butchered a uh, cost of a bottle of the Glendronach 12 that Malta Man can give me. So I don't want to speculate, but... I believe it's around seventy dollars. Not bad. Yeah, I believe it's around seventy bucks. Right Less now. than the Lagavulin. Uh, oh, so Master Malt is sixty six. Oh, okay. But I and usually Master Malt. Master Malt. Yeah, a little bit cheaper than. Uh, but I think he said it was around seventy dollars. Do you think it'd be cool if I give a little shout out to Ralphie? Everyone knows Ralphie. Does They're everyone right. know Ralphie? They go do. go check out Ralphie. Uh, I'm not even gonna tell you. Just figure it out. Well, that's tingly still oh, on the tongue, buddy. I still feel it. On the sides. Yeah. On the sides of the tongue and yeah. in the center, but like towards the back. Yeah. I hate it. I didn't really, I didn't, I don't want to say I hated the nose on this because I didn't hate it. it I, I just didn't feel like there was a lot of nose. I was expecting for 56.1% ABV to get hit in the face. Right. With the smell. Like, um, like, uh, the Boomer's Devil Cask. Ooh. Or the Abelauer Abana. Can we get another one of those? I need to go get one. Yeah. I, I need to dress this in and get one. Um, Can anybody that has one, just send it to us. We'll take care of it. Um, but. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it exploded. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> I tell you what, with water, I'm getting more. Definitely. The water has opened this up quite a bit. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought it was condensed at first. Like a Lagavulin. Like the Macallan 12. I mean, the, the cast strength whiskey. I mean, it's dense. Uh, Man, I'm it. picking up a raisin for sure. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like not the uh, not the green raisins, but the dark raisins. Yeah, I still get a little bit of lemon rind in the background. I'm getting ginger, ginger. I'm getting sage, and now with water, I'm getting chocolate. That I well, you know what? I'm feeling the sage. I'm feeling the sage. 
the chocolate's on the sides in the back. So maybe that's influencing me picking it up on the tongue. The whole life. Right. Now I'm picking up chocolate. Still that cherry. Still that oh. weird It's like a cherry. weird burnt. It's like a weird burnt dark chocolate cherry thing. Is it a maraschino cherry? For me, no. It's like a Christmas time candied uh, you know, chocolate covered cherry thing. It's a man- maraschino cherry with some sugar drizzled on it. Not a lot of sugar. A little bit of sugar. No. Like you drizzled it and it didn't stick, so only a few, p- a few pieces were on there. Like you threw a lot at it. But only a few pieces stuck, like 16% stuck. Exactly 16% Mike, stuck. can I be honest with you? I feel like I'm stalling. Maybe I feel, you're not like, I feel like I'm stalling because I... Of course I'm always honest. I feel like I'm stalling because like, I just want to savor like, what's going on in my mouth right now. Like, it is a long linger. It, how long has it been? How long is it, I don't, Look at the video. I we are 11 minutes in this video. I don't know how soon we took our first sip, but it is still there. Oh my God. I right? love right? the whiskey for right? that reason. Right. I, lo- I, lo- I love the Abana. Oh. I love the Lagavulin 12. I love this whiskey. I love the Devil's... I love the high ABV whiskeys because the, the oh. alcohol drives a long finish, and I love me a long finish, Billy. Love me a long finish, my friend. Great whiskey. Great whiskey on the nose. Thank you, Keith, for giving this to me. We had tried a lot of whiskeys. This was deep into the whiskey tasting. Um, mm. They gave me the sample. Gave me the sample. And I've kept the sample. I've had it there for six weeks or so. Anxious to try it again. And it did not disappoint. Where it was a bit closed off on the nose initially, water certainly opens it up. It exploded on the first taste need on the tongue. Billy with water, what are you getting? In fucking tense. Intense. Um, if I'm being completely honest, mm. if I'm being completely honest, I don't, I don't think there's any difference at all. Um, I think the smell opened up, the nose opened up on me. Um, but when I had that drink just now, it's still gorgeous. I still love it. You can tell. You can tell. There's a lot of alcohol in there. You can tell it's a fifty-six percent rate. Wow! That'll wake you up in the morning. That is a gorgeous whiskey. That is a gorgeous whiskey. Thank you, Malted Man Cave. What's thank name, you, Keith? Keith. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. I hope to meet you soon. And you know what? Wow! I tell you what. <sighs> wow! It's whoa, whoa, it's whoa. like right down here in the bottom chocolate. of your jacket. Right, yeah, right here, right here, the chocolate, yeah. right on the hinge. Ooh. Um. Initially with water, at first it was a little bit easier to take. It wasn't as explosive. Yeah. As soon as I swallowed, it's over. Yeah. Chocolate. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Chocolate. Like dark, delicious cake that your grandma made from Germany. Like and, Hungary. And a little bit of coffee bean. Oh, that's how they make chocolate cake back there. Oh, like Black Forest cake. Oh, yeah. In Germany. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yes. Yeah, I, Literally. I, I get a bit of espresso bean. It's such a dark bitterness. I get it. Dark chocolate and a little bit of espresso bean. And I did not pick up espresso bean neat. No. I picked up no, water. No, no, no. So I would suggest adding water. Try it neat. Add some water. I think water is the best way to have this for my limited experience with it. Well, I, I don't think either one of us are fans of adding water or an ice cube to any sort of whiskey we drink. However, there are some. Depends what There are some. Uh, the last, the Macallan 12 we just did, the water made it actually better. And... I think, I think, the little teeny bit of half cap full of water that we just added to this, I th- I really think it made it better. I'm getting better at pouring much water. I'm at, you want to know where I'm at? Give it to me. 90? Yep, I'm at 92. 90? I, I, I'm also at 90 out of 100. Great whiskey. Oh my God, yes. Great I, would, I would send this to my grandma. You know what is incredible about this? Um, a couple of guys, I was talking with Keith and I was talking with uh, um, another guy, uh, Malted in Montreal, not talking with him, but we were kind of going back and forth on um, uh, YouTube, and he liked the batch five better than the batch six. And I think what do you, all, what do you think the difference is there? Well, the different well, there's different ABV. It's like um, a, a calf drink lag of one twelve. So Every maybe, year maybe it's different. just the the barrels. Who knows? Well, uh, yeah, so, so since it's cast the malt master not doing his job, like what do you? I think it's just different. I, you know, this is the sixth the sixth batch, and I, I, I did a little bit of research, and I saw the previous batches had a lower ABV, which suggests an older whiskey. And which may be why I love the, the added water. Yeah, yeah, melts it out of it. Um, but uh, Malton in Montreal had said in his video of the batch five that 
he had a good authority that all of the whiskeys were at least 15 years old, but he didn't know how old the ones in the batch six were. Okay. So sometimes okay. as these yep. batches go along, they become younger whiskeys. A lot of times is what I found. And that's probably the case here because of the higher ABV. So it's probably a younger whiskey. It's probably not an average of 15 years. It's probably an average of closer to, you know, 12, 13 years, something like that. You think? I, that would be my guess. That would be my guess. I, okay. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's my guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're not experts. Yeah, no, no. We're just guys who love fucking scotch whiskey. Like like our title says, just two guys who... Smash that like button. Who like whiskey and have opinions. Are they still watching us? Like, what are we... 27 minutes into it? 16. It's a long, it's a long Sorry, ride. guys. We, we're rambling. We're, we <laughs> have had a few shots, but uh, okay, so Billy, we love you. Let me see. Do I want to say anything else about this whiskey? My, yes. point, my point in that whole rant earlier was if batch six is the least of the batches. Give me batch seven. Just like the Abelauer, Abenau. We, yeah. we had batch 58, and we, we thought yeah. that was good. Oh, my God. And people said, oh, no, this batch and this batch. In the comment section, it was great. Here's my idea. If it's, if it's better, great. Here's my idea. If you have something better for us to drink, send it to us. Send you us, know where to send it to. Send us a little sample. I work for a packaging company. Hello. I work for a packaging company. I will send you the materials to send it. Literally. And literally. We, and we will literally. review anything. EnvySkinGallery.com. That's Col- where you send it to. Clone soil. Anyway. Yeah, easy. Billy, we're both at what, 90 out of 100? Oh, man. 90 yeah. 90 out of 100. All day. Great video. Um, as always, we want you to like. Please. Please like. If you, if you haven't subscribed, it, it's, it's nothing. It's just a click. Cost you nothing. Um, we'd like you to subscribe if you have not previously. Comment, please comment. He loves talking to you guys. He he really does. I got. I'm honest. super busy at my my regular job, so I can't really like get involved in that kind of way, which I wish I could do more of. But Mike really, truly, and that like that shit makes his day. Please comment. To be com- com- completely transparent, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. But it can be completely transparent. I enjoy talking to all of you about whiskey. Truly, whiskeys. that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's, he loves it. He loves it. I love talking about whiskey. So yeah. anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. It, super long winded, or whatever. Yeah, it happens. We try to give you the whiskey and the details first, and the tasting notes. And we try to get long winded at the end. I try to. So always. you can check out anytime you want. I try Other to. than you people in South Africa, who should apparently watch all of our videos from start to finish, we appreciate the runtime. Yeah. South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. And you've probably made it this far because you have the longest runtime. Ralphie. <laughs> Malton Man Cave. Malton in Montreal. To all of you guys. And Whiskey Hunter. Um, Whiskey Hunter. He is uh, oh. the admin of our Scotch. That's a great name. Why we, we should steal that name. We should steal the name. Of our Scotch Whiskey group on Facebook, which is called Scotts Addicts. Guys. And it's no selling. It's just people like Scotch. And Alan, you're a good guy. Yes. I always enjoy talking yes. to you. Thank can, you. Can you do us a favor? Like? Uh, happy drinking? I, I guess know. we're done. I don't know. Happy drinking. I don't know. See you next time. Till next time I see you in the comments. From us here at Envy Tattoo in Columbus, Ohio. Next Penn, video. Shut off. Penn State got us again. We'll try it next year.